the Conservative Party of Canada had a leadership forum right here in Calgary. There are 14 candidates in the running for the top job and the style was a bit different from what we've seen with these events so far. Candidates were given time to talk about whatever subjects they chose when given the mic. And of course, all but one candidate was there. Kevin O'Leary decided to skip the formalities once again. For the most part, the candidates pumped up their platforms as expected, but I wanted to know who people were planning on voting for, so I headed into the crowd to chat with attendees. With 14 candidates in the race, a lot of people seem to be unsure on who to put their weight behind. I have no idea. Some candidates have everything, some of them have nothing to offer. I haven't made my mind. Well, I know Maxim Bernier is up front and I know Kelly Leach is up front and I'm leaning towards both. Uh, I haven't made up my mind um, yet. And then I also like Andrew Shear. But this lady was leaning toward one particular candidate. I'm leaning towards Andrew Shear. I don't know if he's ahead or not, but um, I think he has a lot to offer, especially to the younger generation. The majority of people I talked to in the crowd were absolutely sure on the one candidate that calls himself the Albertan from Quebec, though. Maxine Bernier all the way. To fix the equalization format, uh, no handouts to Bombardier, that really resonates with me. When I hear someone say, we need to fix handouts to Bombardier by making them better, I just think that's not the Alberta way. Let's lower taxes and simplify government, and that's what Mad Max is all about. I think my favorite is probably Maxime. Uh, I think he's uh, strong on immigration, and I think he's probably the best to take down Trudeau in 2019. Yeah. Conservative voters in Calgary really seem to like Maxime Bernier. They like that his plans are different but workable and they like his freedom-oriented policies. He's campaigning on abolishing supply management, reforming gun policies and reforming the equalization formula. Of course, there are 13 other candidates and there's still a lot of time to make a decision on who the next leader of the Conservative Party of Canada will be. In order to vote on May 27th, you must purchase a CPC membership by March 28th. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks so much for watching. Have you signed up for our YouTube channel yet? Click the link to the side and subscribe today so that you don't miss any of the content that you won't find anywhere else.